Hello and welcome, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome to your week ahead teroscopes. We are doing, oops, <laughs> can't find the camera. We're doing the week of the 11th to the 17th of September, 2023. We are using some interesting combinations this week. This is the Goddess Dream Oracle. And these are my little tarot tiles that I have set in resin that we're going to be using as well to see what the week has in store for you. So fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sag, let's get shuffling with the oracle, which is going to set the tone, set the theme for the week ahead. So week ahead, 11 to 17 September 2023, what is the overall theme that all fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, what will you be dealing with? this week okay so happy with the shuffle let's cut the deck and take a card off the top right put the rest away and let's have a look fire signs what is the theme for your week ahead we have got card 24 which is the card of new beginnings and it tells you to take a fresh look at life here we have this beautiful lady she's got all the hairs which of course are all about abundance and life and 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 regeneration and she also have an has an egg that is starting to crack open she also has all four seasons represented in the card as well so this is a week where we need to take a fresh look at life take a fresh look at ourselves our circumstances our realities to see what we can do differently how we can do it differently and what that may look like because this is a week to set new new to set new goals to set new adventures to start new things so if you've been you know here in the southern hemisphere we are moving into spring which is moving into our warmer weather so if you've been thinking about you know getting a good exercise program together or a diet program together this would be a great week for you to get started on that let's add some tarot to the mix it does shake the table a little bit i do apologize but let's get some tarot into the mix and see where these new beginnings may be and what they may look like giving the tarot a bit of a shuffle i'm just going to grab a few oh i've got a lot there Okay, and drop <laughs> so it has caused a little bit of chaos let's just tidy up without adjusting the tarot too much there is one that has jumped out here and there's another one just I'm gonna leave it peeking I don't want you to see it I can see what it is but I don't want you to see it just yet peeking there so we've got five tarot that have come through when a tarot has lands face down like that one has it has less significance but when they are face up obviously we pay attention to them and this one over here is also face up so I will be paying attention but the fact that it fell off camera again makes it almost like it doesn't have as much significance so Aries Leo and Sag the first one that I see is this one over here and it is riding or resting on another there we have the two of cups okay so the two of cups is the card of partnership it's the card of union it's the card of connection and the two of cups with regards to new beginnings is basically saying to you whatever it is that you want to initiate this week whatever it is that you want to get started don't try and do it on your own it, this is definitely something to connect with another person to partner with another person so and i'm just using the exercise as an example okay but if you have been thinking about getting to the gym or you know starting a diet or doing anything like that this is saying to you, you know, you need to do it with another person. So either rope a family member, a loved one, a friend, a colleague, rope somebody in to do it so that you can hold each other accountable or team up with a personal trainer. OK, just as an example. So it's about not taking this on by yourself. And I love the fact that it was riding or resting on if I can pick it up. If it was that it was resting on the eight of wands because the eight of wands is the card that says it's already in motion so this is something that you've already started this is something that you've already thought about this is something that you've already taken steps towards it's almost like it's set in the universe already the universe knows it's going to happen um and but but maybe you've already just made the decision but now it's to find somebody who can help you on this journey all right this is a bit of a concern so we had the Eight of Wands, and now we've got the Eight of Swords. Let me bring it closer so that you can see, because these are 
really, really tiny. So the Eight of Swords is the card of feeling restricted, feeling limited, feeling trapped, feeling feeling stuck, okay? So Eight of Swords is the card that says to you, you don't feel as if you can do this. You already, before we've even started, before we've even begun the new beginnings, you've already got yourself saying, oh, I don't know, I'm, I know I'm going to fail. I know it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to happen. Uh, it's not going to work out the way that I need it to or want it to. You've already got yourself quite convinced that this is not going to pan out the way that you wanted. So you are being your own worst enemy. Now, Aries, Leo and Sag, it's a little bit out of character for you, isn't it? Because you guys are normally the the forever optimists. The 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 your your personality is normally the ones that said, "I can do anything. I can achieve anything. I can accomplish anything." So it's a bit interesting that we've got this coming through that you are doubting yourself. Now, I'm going to talk about this card that is just like I say off camera. It is face up. So we are going to read it before we read that one. But the fact that it fell outside of the camera zone tells us that it's not so relevant. But we're going to bring it in anyway. And it is the card of the Empress. So the Empress, she is the archetype that gives life. She is the archetype that brings joy. She is the archetype that, that creates opportunity. So the fact that she's come through with new beginnings and the fact that she was on the foundation, on the basis, on the, on the underside <laughs> and close to the self-limiting beliefs is telling you that, you know what, you are your own worst enemy and you can easily and simply overcome that by focusing on working with the person and knowing that this is a decision you've already made. This is a thing that you've already got in place and all you've got to do is to take a fresh look at life and start moving towards it. Okay, let's see this one. So here we have a tile, never mind the little um, resin bubble that I, I got. Most of them have got resin bubbles because I don't know what I'm doing with resin. Um, <laughs> look at me over explaining. Let's turn it over and see what card we have. Oh, I like it. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is the card of abundance. It is the card of opulence. It is the card of extra. And her message for you is saying that this new beginning is going to give you that life. This new beginning that you are doubting, that you are questioning, that you are are creating a sense of, of, of discomfort for yourself, okay? Um, you don't have to worry about that because this is actually not going to happen. You've got abundance, you've got opportunity, you've got success, but it's all in your hands. That's why we had the Empress. The Empress means it's all in your hands. You have control, but it's your mind that limits and restricts you. So new beginnings are available to you, Aries, Leo, and Sag, whether that be a huge big career thing, whether it be a change in the way that you look at something within a personal relationship, whether it be an exercise program, whether it be healthy eating, it actually doesn't matter what it is. It really and truly doesn't matter what it is. It could be as big as moving house. It could be as little as drinking an extra glass of water every day. It, it'll be different for each one of you, but one thing we can say is that there's definitely a new beginning that's going to lead you to happiness, to joy, and to success. But you do need somebody in your camp to hold you accountable and to know that this is already something that has started, that is triggered, that's begun. And all you've got to do is have somebody help you to be accountable, to not second guess yourself, and to understand that you have control, that uh, it lies in your hands, that you have control, that you are the only one who can bring this to life, who can make this happen. And the Nine of Pentacles is telling you opulence. So it can and will bring you joy, bring you happiness and bring you success if you allow it and if you make sure that your self-limiting beliefs do not get in the way. So there we have it. Aries, Leo and Sag, Sag what a fabulous week you have ahead. I'm going to leave it there, short, sweet and to the point. I wish you an amazing week of new beginnings. Let's take a fresh look at life and let's be happy, let's be successful and most importantly, let's be healthy. As always, with lots of love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care.